So let the sounds be like music. The hum of the harmonium, the bhakti sounds. Place one hand on your heart and one hand to your low abdominals. Grounding in your seat while the crown raises to the sky. Receiving these sounds of yoga as we all get to acknowledge that yoga means to yoke or to unite the mind, the body, and the spirit. Honoring the mind, the body, and the spirit. Honoring these sounds of yoga. And can you let your breath be like music as we inhale our spines to rise? Exhale our hearts to ease down, grounding in your seat. Inhale, hearts, crowns, rising up. Exhale the ground deeply into the floor, the earth that's holding us all up. As we breathe into this vessel of our being, perhaps we can align ourselves up with one thing. And since we are all here to celebrate community, let's think about one thing that we'd wish to allow our shapes to be our movements seen and unseen to be on behalf of the collective body, the collective mind, the collective heart. What is one thing we may wish to see, embrace, contribute to the collective body, collective mind, collective heart? Devoting all of our actions seen and unseen together towards it. Hands flowing down onto your legs. Inhaling our shoulders to lift up. Shoulders drop up and up. One more big inhale. Big exhale. And then head circles one direction. How does the body want to follow the movement of your head? Maybe the torso wants to follow, perhaps the shoulders. There is no right or wrong to any of these shapes, y'all. It's about honoring your life flow. So color outside the lines. Celebrating our unique perspectives, our unique bodies. As we practice union together. Pausing, etc., embracing stillness. Aligning the vessel of your being for the collective body collective mind, collective heart. Shoulders to the sky. Shoulders drop down, open them. Head circles other way. Let this way be completely different. New breath, new moment. Pausing at center, embracing the gift of stillness, the gift of the Bhakti House fan sounds. Hands on your kneecaps as we inhale our hearts, fours, face shines to the sky like a cow spine. Exhale, chin in, spine curls away, opening up your back space. Inhale, heart forward, face shining up. Exhale, chin in, spine curls. Three more, your timing, receiving that soft, natural light, bowing your head to your heart, humbly asking. Mm -hmm. Embrace your rhythm. And then at the end of that movement, we can inhale our spines to rise up. Exhale to pour our spines over the shape of our legs. You are more important that your sit bones are grounding down into the earth below you. That being said, maybe the hands travel forward. Embracing and affirming nod of your head, yes. Clearing flow of the head, no. Let all the idle thoughts be unimportant. Rolling up your spine. Arms rising up to the sky. Hands flow together at your lifted heart. Arms out and up, gathering up your prayer, bringing it up, and then exhale that prayer into your lifted heart. If your legs are crossed, switch your crossing to your awkward uh, crossing of your legs. <laughs> we embrace the awkward. Hands on the legs, inhale your spine to lift up. 
Exhale to ease your spine. Big torso circles one direction. Maybe the head wants to flow freely with this. Let yourself be fluid. Awesome, y'all. Y'all yeah, look so good. And then the other way. Hands on your legs. Inhale your heart to shine. Face shines up. Exhale, bowing your head to your heart. Four more. Your timing. Maybe the pelvis can shift with you amidst this movement. Awakening our energy centers, the chakra system. Yeah, good on you. And at the end of your fourth exhale, cat, we can inhale into our long, lifted spines. Exhale to ease our spines over this awkward crossing. Hands could flow forward. Remembering your high why for being here as we find that affirming nod, yes. Clearing out all the unimportant sweeping sway of the head, no. Rolling up the spine, arms rising up to the sky. Hands flow together at your lifted heart. Close your eyes. Feel your heartbeat with your thumbs. Anjali Mudra, connecting to your heartbeat. Your heart song. Let's actually place the hands on the heart. Inhaling our hearts to rise. Exhale to ease. Together rising. Together grounding. Take one more breath here. And then release your palms down to the mat. Open your eyes. Roll over your knees tabletop position. Spread your fingers directly under your shoulders. Stack your knees under your hips. Gently lift your navel up. Take an inhale, cow pose. Look up, tip your tailbone high. Exhale, cat pose, round chin to chest. Inhale, cow pose, heart scoops forward. Drop your middle body. Exhale, cat round and push the earth away. Take one more with your breath. And then come back into a neutral tabletop. Extend your right leg back. Keep your right toes down on the mat. And then begin to teeter-totter back and forth gently, opening up through your right leg. Once you feel that space open, come shoulders over wrists and then lift your right leg up.
and bend that right knee. Bend the right knee, open up that hip. There you go. I know your arms are sore, but your arms are strong. Your arms hold you every day. The power through your shoulders. Hold that and breathe. Three more deep pranayamas into the nose. Let your tummy expand. And when you exhale, you pull your tummy in. Two more, just like that, sweetheart. yoga power. Feet up one slowly bring that right leg back down. Downward facing dog. Keep your toes and pivot your hips side to side. Just pivot your toes and your hips side to side before we change legs. There we go, baby. And slowly, slowly, let's take off that left leg. Nice and slow. Now take that left leg and expand. Feel that vibration going up your back. Off the lactancy store side. Off your glute. Point that toe.
your bicep. Beautiful. Almost there. Now let's see the color orange. That's that sacral color. This is for that orange by my emotions. That you're how you feel about yourself. So I want you to put love right now. Put love for yourself right now. Every day, remind yourself you're full of love. You're made of love. Love waves. Some kind of movement you want to do with the arms. Maybe there's some, some kind of... 
your mama, Gaia, our planet. And she provides everything that you need, everything that you desire. Pull it in. And then inhale big, reaching the arms out and up. Continue to ground through your feet, but draw it in to Father Sky. Pulling the arms in and up. Open the arms wide in victory mudra. Don't take a back bend here. Keep that energy in your body. Don't release it through your sacral chakra. Let it ground back down. Here. On your exhale, we're going to 
today. Breathing in here, lighten your toes uh, with the grip of the earth and just ground down the bones of your feet. And three, calm breaths. Breath in.
side ankle posture, opening up through the heart. Good. One more deep breath here. On your next inhale, come back up into your warrior two position. Take a big inhale to claim it. We're moving into half moon pose from here. So as you feel ready, look at your right foot and bring your hands down onto either side of your right foot, maybe a foot in front of it, and then bring all your balance into your right foot as you lift your left leg up off the mat. Maybe you just lift the leg up. Maybe you bring your left hand to your low back and start to open up the shoulder. Maybe you lift your left arm all the way up to the sky and find your full half moon posture. Wherever you are, honor the moment that you're in. Take one more deep breath, find it. And on the next inhale, step back into warrior two. All the way up, you're strong. Inhale into reverse warrior. Cartwheel all the way back down to downward facing dog. All the way down. You gotta do the same thing on the other side, friends. Step back into downward facing dog. Lift your left leg high to the sky, big inhale. Swing it all the way through, left foot right in the middle of the hand. Good. Look back at your right foot. Ground through your right heel. Make sure your left heel, your left arch are in line. Reach your right arm forward on your next inhale. Cartwheel all the way up into warrior two. All the way up into warrior two. Good. Go ahead and flip your left palm up and reach up and back into reverse warrior. Just one big breath and then exhale into extended ankle. All the way up, right arm up and over. Bringing your left arm towards the left thigh like a little resting place, like you're holding a tray. Spiral your right shoulder open. Now choose to hold here or bring your right arm behind your back and open up the shoulder, really spiraling the heart open. Hold here or reach your left arm underneath the left thigh and grab your hands behind your back, only if it's there. Breathe, listen to your body and do what's right. If you want to move into Bird of Paradise, bring your weight into your left foot, step your right foot forward, and then ground through your right foot. So from your left foot, bring your right foot forward, step it to the top of your mat, ground through the right foot, and then slowly start to rise up, lifting your left leg and extending through the quadricep and the hamstring. Find your peak wherever that is, and step back and meet your friends, remembering that it's completely okay to stay in any version. Excellent, coming back into extended angle. Everybody come back and reclaim warrior two. Reclaim warrior two. Now in this moment in time, pause here. Proud, powerful, peaceful warriors in the house. Think of a cause you wanna send some positive vibes to. Take a big inhale and send out peace and love and grace. One more breath.
from you.
line, clearing anything out that's stagnant. Inhale up and exhale down. You can do it at your own pace. Here at the Free Day of Yoga. 